I just took Google's nine hour prompting central course so you don't have to. And let me tell you, most people are using AI wrong, even me. What if I told you that prompting is a skill and if done right, it acts as a force multiplier to everything that you do. So I'm gonna break down three simple frameworks that are the 80-20 of prompting that will instantly boost your AI game. To begin things off, every time you prompt AI, keep this golden rule in mind. The quality of your input directly impacts the quality of your output. If you feed in garbage information in, you're gonna get garbage results, just amplified. Garbage in, garbage out. And that's why these three frameworks will give you the biggest impact with the least amount of effort. So the first framework, it's the five-step prompting framework. Then we have the meta prompts and advanced prompting techniques. So let's start with the first one, the five-step prompting framework. So the purpose of the five-step prompting framework is to help you structure better AI prompts so you get more accurate, relevant, and high quality responses. Um, Google breaks it down into five key components. It has the task, context, references, evaluate, and iterate. Um, they make it a lot easier to understand by using this acronym, thoughtfully create really excellent inputs. And let's break down each component. Let me come to here, uh, here it is, okay. So for the task, this is where you clearly describe what you want the Gen AI tool to help you with and specify a persona and format. So what I put here was help me create one performance planning review, PPR objective for 2025. Persona, I'm a recruiter at a large energy company supporting the engineering department. For context, this is where you provide all the necessary details to help the Gen AI tool understand what you want it to do. So the objective, uh, what I put here was objective needs to be a smart goal, something with quarterly updates. The key metrics are time to fill, quality of hire and offer acceptance rates. I need to become a BizLine expert. I use LinkedIn Recruiter and SAP Success Factors. According to the SHRM, average time to fill of engineering roles is 49 days, so this is external benchmark. And for some hiring trends, I know that engineering roles have increasing competitions due to skill shortages and evolving job requirements. For references, um, this is where you can put, if you have a really good example of what an excellent output looks like, since I don't, I'm gonna leave it blank. Next, we have evaluate. This is where we assess the output. So right now I'm gonna assess the output by putting this as a prompt. So control copy, paste in here, and paste in here. Um, okay, help me create one performance goal. Okay, enter and let's see what the um, output is. So subjective, enhance equipment efficiency, uh, to strengthen biz line, expertise, improve hiring outcomes for engineer roles, focusing on reducing time to fill, quality of hire, increasing offer acceptance. Okay, so by Q4 2025, 2025, reduce the average time to fill for engineering roles at company name to 45 days or less compared to industry benchmarks, that's fine. While we'll maintain a quality of hire score of four, and a half, four out of five higher. Yep, that's good enough. All right, so the evaluate output here is this, right? And next we have our iterate. This is where if the output isn't helpful, we're gonna refine by clarifying what we want until it's right. So if I really want to improve this, I can incorporate the bench, I can incorporate benchmark metrics. I can incorporate biz line future initiatives. But for now, I'm gonna leave this as is. And this brings us to our second framework, which is meta prompting. Meta prompting is the practice of using prompts to refine and generate better prompts. It helps you improve the questions you ask leading to more precise and valuable answers. Basically what this means is that we're gonna use a prompt to say, how can I improve the previous prompt, right? So we can take the previous prompt here, open it up. So how can I improve the prompt below? so it can give me a better output. Paste. Okay, and what we're gonna see here is that it's gonna take this prompt and make it a little bit more effective. So here's improved uh, version of the prompt to make it more structured, specific and clear, ensuring a better output. Okay, help me create a smart performance goal, uh, objective for 2025 as a recruiter at a large energy company supporting the engineering department. Um, 
Yep, so what you can see here is basically the same thing, but it makes it a lot, uh, the format a lot easier to edit. So if I want to iterate on this prompt as well, it makes it a lot cleaner for me to do it. So what I can do here is I can just um, control copy this. I can paste it here. And then side by side, as you can see here, um, this is basically a lot cleaner and a lot easier to understand than this one. And I can iterate this one a lot more easier uh, compared to the previous one. And this brings us to our last framework, which is called advanced prompting techniques. So advanced prompting techniques is asking better questions and getting more useful and specific responses. So what it does, it allows you to kind of see the thought process or the chain of thought that the AI is using, kind of very similar to how humans get to a certain conclusion. One of the main prompts I use is, can you walk me through your thought process step by step so you can see how you arrived at your conclusion? Uh, the reason why this is so important is because one, it encourages clarity. So it, have, it asks for a step-by-step -step breakdown, making it easier to follow. Two, it reveals its reasoning. So it helps you see how, again, the AI reached its conclusion, not just the answer. And three, it reduces assumptions, right? It ensures that the AI explains their logic, avoiding very vague or incomplete responses. So you can see here, if I type it in here, can you walk me through your thought process step-by-step -step to see how you arrive at your conclusion? And we can see here, it should walk me through a step-by-step -step breakdown of how to refine the prompt. Um, so step one, you can see here the core uh, request. So the key takeaway here, the core is about the goal setting for performance, evaluation, and recruitment. So step two is identifying key constraints and metrics to prompt valuable context that must be incorporated into the goal. So time to fill. As you can see here, it's just breaking down the actual thought process step-by-step -step on how it was able to improve the previous prompt, right? And this kind of helps too if you're kind of setting sort of strategy goals or basically any sort of goals just to see its thought process. And you want to be auditing each step yourself to say like, hey, does this make sense? Does it not? And it allows you to sort of one, iterate the step to see, no, you can probably tell like, hey, this is wrong. Uh, but it's a good way to sort of add clarity to its thought process. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. I mean, I'll let it run. It's going to be running for a while. Uh, final thoughts. Um, as you can see here, yeah. So step one, step three, and then step four. Uh, and it explains this thought process. And those are the three frameworks that should improve your prompting skills instantaneously. So here's a quick one pager as a key takeaway. Um, so the three frameworks are the five-step prompting framework. We have meta prompts and advanced prompting techniques. The golden rule, it's the quality of your input directly impacts the quality of your output. And the biggest insight that I got from this course was the quality of any answer is directly determined by the quality of the question. So I hope you found this was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave in the comments down below and feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you, bye-bye.